There's my sister. He had a pretty Jeep. there I'm getting excited got about a mile and a quarter of picking up this uh the van i'm just so uh don't ever get any rid of these ducks i think they're cool <laughs> <laughs> but we're almost there that's like bear creek drive turn right onto bear creek drive east then the destination is on your left right there In the fast lane. In a quarter mile, the destination is on your left. There you go. No, it's up further. It's the one with the big driveway up. <laughs> the slopey driveway. Well, we're here, and there is the van. All right. Thanks, sis, for uh, giving me a ride out here. Love Bye. you. Love you too. Bye-bye. Bye. I won't put that part on the Don't internet. Put my butt on there. Well, I know your butt's already <laughs> on there. All right, I'm driving down the road in my new van. It even has a rear mirror thing there. I can see the back, which is kind of cool. And found out that the gas cage doesn't work. He forgot to tell me about that. But that's the only thing that uh, I don't think is working in this little dash thing. But yeah, drive smooth. Uh, the one thing about uh, driving a vehicle, yeah, I've drove vehicles for years and years and years, but it's been, I don't know, um, probably uh, 15, maybe 20 years that I've actually owned it's probably more like 15, uh, 15 years since I've actually owned and drove a vehicle full time, four wheel vehicle. So this is a this is a big change. <laughs> so I got to get used to it. Anyway, I'm all excited. I got a bunch of people to thank, and I'll do that here in a little bit when I end the vid video on uh, helping me obtain this uh, van. So. I'm going to put this down and pay attention to the road. All right, guys, I got all the business taken care of with this van. And I will do a walkthrough and what I'm going to be adding and taking away. Uh, I'm putting a, a list right here right now of thanking everybody that helped me get this van. Uh, with the GoFundMe and all through PayPal and stuff. And if I missed you, I'm sorry. If I missed anybody, I'll put it down in the comments. Uh, but this van is now mine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is going to be a process in between now and the end of the year of getting it built out. So um, we'll do a quick look here and then I'll log out of here. But uh, again, thank you everybody that help me achieve this for raising awareness and money for the cure to diabetes in memory of my son. Uh, so I'm still going to be doing the same thing that I've done. Part of it's going to be in the van and part of it's going to be with the motorcycle and trailer. The motorcycle will always be with me. So let's take a look. 
All right, here's the uh, the van. We'll take a look on the inside here real quick. Uh, it's in really good shape, low mileage. The only thing that doesn't work is the um, fuel gauge. So I have to get that fixed. I'm not sure how to go about that, but I'll certainly do that. I'm not sure what the solar panel is on the dash. But anyhow, uh, this is the, uh, the front of the cabin that I'm gonna call it. And I gotta figure out how to turn this uh, camera view on the back off. It's still on, so don't want it running down my battery. And let's go back here. Here, I'll step out a little bit so you can get a rear view of this here. There's the uh, backup camera. Here's this side. It's, it's got the uh, standard wheels that come with it. Uh, those are all terrain tires. And let's open this up. He gave me a porta potty with it too, which is kind of nice. And some of this looks the spray foams on here, but all this is going to get cleaned up. Uh, there's going to they're going to be cutting out the top in a uh, van topper, so I'll be able to stand up in here. Um, and I'm not sure what to do with this rear air either. But yeah, they've got a floor in here, but I'm going to change that out also and uh, do some other stuff. But it's looking good. Well, if any of you guys have suggestions on what I should do and not do, uh, put it down in the comments, or if you know me, contact me. Uh, I am uh, I am looking for a mechanic right now to go over the whole thing. So, anyhow, I really do appreciate everybody helping me out with this. I'm excited about this uh, new change going on with the Riding for a Cure, and I'll catch you all the road here at the Red Roof Inn in Haltom City, Texas.